Here is a quick core series for you that is safe for split abs. So what we are going to do is we're going to lay on our back and if you have split abs, you're just gonna drop over to your side and then roll back. And from here, we're going to just practice our breathing for a moment. I want you to breathe in. And what you're trying to do is work through breathing in through your rib cage, not so much down here in your belly, but not in your chest. So we're right about here in the rib cage, just start breathing. And when you breathe in, you're expanding this area. The lungs are filling up. And when you breathe out, I want you to forcefully make a ha sound. So you'll be And as you do that, you're going to feel that core tighten up. Now at any point, if any of these exercises will be lifted up, if you get this uh, rounding, which I call bread loafing, if you get that, then you are not actively working your core muscles properly. So you need to reset, make sure that your breathing is in line and that you are pulling that core back. So the whole core is pulling back, not just from the belly button, um, but the whole core. So from here, you can work on breathing in and breathing out. And then we're going to lift our head just slightly off the mat, pulling that chin, tucking that chin slightly towards the chest. From here, depending on your comfort level, will depend on how high your head raises and if you want your hands here. If you feel your neck getting really tight, you can relax your neck into your hands to make sure that your core is doing the work, not lifting up through the neck. From here, we're just doing little head lifts. Every time I lift up, I'm breathing out. You can make the ha sound. Some people make the sound, but whatever you do, make sure that you feel this area of the core tightening back up. Continue to lift. Little lifts, little lifts. Continue. Give me three more. From here, we're going to rest our head back. We're now going to go into leg marches. From here, my leg's gonna come up into 90 degrees, come back down, and then the other leg's gonna lift up. Again, core stays active. What I like to do is I place my hand on my hips to make sure that I'm not rocking back and forth. We don't want our hips to stabilize us, we want our core to stabilize us. So just back and forth. And if this is too easy for you, you want to take it to the next level, you can start doing double leg lifts, but you have to make sure that your back is not swaying. So you're not pulling up and down and up and down, holding that back nice and flat, not pressing into the mat. Keep going. You've got four. Three. Two, last one. From here, now you're gonna lift both legs up and we're going to go into what I call core activation. So core activation, we're bringing our knees out, trying to get them as close to 90 degrees as possible, making sure that you feel that core active. You can bring your arms up so that you're not pressing into the mat. You can lift your head up. Again, make sure that that core is flattening out. It is not doming. If 
If you want, pretend there's a ball in between your thighs. Think about squeezing them to activate through your inner thighs up through to your pelvic floor. Hold it. Again, if you get tired, you can rest your head into your hands. Keep going, hold it here for four, three, two, and one. Relax down, you should have felt some shaking there. From here, we're going to keep our legs right here. This time, we're going to let one heel drop down, then the other heel drop down. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people do this and they do toe drops. Well, what is occurring, there's more bend through the knee and through the hip flexors than the core getting involved. So what I want you to do is I want you to flex those feet and I want you to try to get your heel to drop all the way down and come up. So heel drop down. There was a bunny sighting. Again, same thing, forcefully breathing out. Every time that leg drops down, back is nice and flat, not pressing into the back. I'm sorry, not pressing into the mat or lifting up. It would be just a slight S curve. Continue, you can hold it up here if you want. And those who want to, you can drop both legs down. That is definitely more advanced. Keep going, you've got four. Three, two, and one. From here, if you need to, you can release for just a moment. If you want to continue on, bring those legs back out. Hold on. Okay. Legs are back out into this full 90, holding here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to press one leg out and pull it back in. Press one leg out and pull it back in. You can lift that head up if you want. We're not rotating here, we're just doing the legs. Give me two more. And relax. From here, if you need to, you can rest down, stretch it out. The last exercise we're going to do is we're going to bring those legs up. We're going to lift that head up towards the knees. Chin is soft. Here is what we're going to do. I'm going to provide you with modifications because this is going to be the most difficult of all the exercises we've done. First option is just bringing one leg down, holding it here. Then you're going to bring your hand to your knee. I am pressing my hand into my knee. I am pressing my knee into my hand, creating this counterbalance between the two sides. I'm holding here. If you want to take it up, so this is the easiest option. The next option is head lifting up. If you can look down and you see a flat belly, no contraindications with how you feel. You could bring that leg up and push it out. If you notice a difference, again, go back to the one previous. If not, hold it here. If you want to take it up another notch, bring that leg down. Continue to hold. You can see that I'm shaking. This is a tough one. There is still one option. I'm going to show it. I see doming for myself, so I think part of it has to do with my breathing right now because I'm trying to talk, but the last option, so the leg can go out, I'm going to show it. Your arm's going to go up overhead, so. Full shaking's going on there. You're going to do that side, and then we're going to relax, and then we're going to lift up to the other side. So other leg is going to lift up. Option one is holding here. Option two is bringing that leg up, lifting up, press, press. Option three is pushing out. Option four is dropping down. 
Option five is lifting up overhead. You're holding it as long as you feel comfortable, pressing that hand into the knee, that knee into the hand, and then you are finished. Go through this one to two times in the beginning. The stronger you will get, you want to go into some different core movements, but that is a simple, nice one that you can do and varying based on your, how you feel um, and your core strength.